Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to embed a video from Dailymotion uh, on, onto your website or your blog and also how to embed a playlist, uh, basically a list of uh, several uh, videos uh, on Dailymotion and so that people can play them uh, one by one uh, without uh, searching again. Um, so the the video embedding is very easy and Dailymotion gives you a tutorial how to do that. Uh, everybody knows how to do it, but I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, the playlist is a little bit more tricky, so I'm going to uh, put some more time into explaining it. <coughs> so now first we do the the video embedding. So this is the Daily Motion uh, homepage, the website. So for example, if you want to embed this uh, this sports game, uh, you just have to go into the video. It's going to start playing. And you scroll down to here is about export and add to. So you just have to click export. It shows you the permanent link, which is links to this video. But under it, this embed code, you just have to highlight it and copy it. This iframe. Uh, <coughs> so this iframe code can you can embed into any HTML file or uh, on your blog, and uh, it, it will show a nice. Uh, video just like this uh, on your uh, on your website. Okay, so uh, let's go to a, a a blog and I'll show you how to do this. Okay, so this is the, the standard uh, blog at a post page uh, for, from from uh, WordPress. This is the most popular blogging software. And on a HTML file, it's it's pretty much the same. It's e even easier. You just open the HTML file with a plain text editor and insert it, uh, the code to uh, to the place where you want to insert the video. But on the blog, I'll show you how to do this. So in on this page, um, what you need to do is instead of visual, which is what you see is what and is what you get kind of editor, you t you click this tab text. This is pretty much just a HTML um, editing view. So here you just control V and post the iframe code we just got from Daily Motion, and that's it. And you switch to visual. You can see the the, uh, the visual effect of this this uh, this vid, uh, this code. Okay, now why is it not working? It's not showing in the visual tab. Uh, Daily Motion is kind of a new service compared to YouTube, I think. Um, it, it's pretty buggy. It's a lot, a lot of bugs uh, I encountered and reported to them. So I guess this is one of them. Uh, if you take a look at the code here, for whatever reason, it put width is zero and height is zero, and that's why you got this little tiny dot. Okay, so that's not uh, it's not correct basically right? somehow the, their web page generated this code with the wrong width and height code now if we go back to daily motion and uh, look at the code and we, we switch choose its correct size then the code will change if you choose large okay now that we have selected the large 560 by 315 option and you can see the code here changed the width and height is populated with the correct uh, parameters uh, so if we copy this new code into our block page under the text uh, tab and if we switch to visual view, you can see here, it's uh, almost correct. I mean, uh, it's not showing the video, but once you s publish it and uh, see the real web page, it will have a video thumbnail over there, and the the aspect ratio will be correct. It will be 560 by 315. Right now, it looks like more like a square, but th this is almost correct, and uh, because this is a, a, a temporary view. Anyway, so that's how you basically embed a uh, daily motion video 
onto your web page or your blog. Okay, now we're, we're going to talk about how we can uh, actually take this to the next level and embed the whole, like, all of the videos in t in this uh, in this playlist. Now, if we search for a playlist, okay. Now we use this one as a uh, example. Uh, this is not my video, just to be clear. This is a, a public video and public uh, playlist uh, on available on the uh, motion to everyone. So, okay, if we take a look at this uh, playlist, uh, this is the playlist name, I guess, um, has so many videos in there and under under the, the featured video. So, um, how you embed all these videos into one single uh, video thumbnail and onto your web page so that they can select which uh, video to play, but all on the same page. Here's, um, uh, if you Google it, uh, most, most people will give you a very complicated solution, like you have to do some programming, um, or some people will say it's impossible to do. And if it on Daily Motion's own help page, it doesn't say how to do this, how to embed a playlist. Now, it's actually quite simple, um, but you have to do some tweaking. It, under this playlist, you can see export button. And uh, if you hover over export, there's a create a jukebox button. That's how you create uh, embed uh, how you display all the videos in the in the jukebox. So so uh, all the all the videos in this playlist will be in the jukebox. So you, if you click that, create a jukebox, it shows you what is a jukebox, and choose a video list. We, we choose we have chosen this video list playlist, and all these uh, options you can choose. Now here it gives you this embed code. This code will Im basically embed this, what you see here, supposedly, into your web page or your blog. So if you embed this, you're supposed to have this on your web page, a big video uh, preview. Under it, there are some thumbnails for different episodes or different videos in this playlist. You can select whichever one to play. You can scroll down, select whichever video you want to play in this playlist, and it will play. It's supposed to work this way, but you'll find, it, you'll find out that it doesn't. So if you copy this iframe code, and let's just put it in our text view of this, let's just put it un, uh, under our single video embed code and put it under that. So we can see both, we can do a comparison. Now this iframe, if you look at the code here, and if you go to visual, so this is the, the single video in the, uh, embedding code code uh, result. Pretty nice. What happened here? So this is not what we see on uh, what they're showing you supposed to be, right? So what happened here is it's trying to uh, populate the entire page, meaning 100% of the width, and the height is also wrong. So if you go back to the uh, to the code and analyze this code, you'll fig figure out why. They, 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 input, they put in the style compared to the single video here. And for the playlist, for the jukebox, they put in style. And this, this style uh, parameters gives you this uh, width 100% and height 100%. Now this is what the, the problem. I don't know why they put it this way. It pretty much screws up your your width and height of the, the output video. So here's what you do, need to do. Delete this entire style from the style to the, the end of that style uh, statement. Delete the entire thing. Make it this iframe source equals delete the entire uh, style. And then here where it says width 100%, you need to change it to the width you want. In this case, if you want a large video display, you should change it to the 560 instead of 100%. And the height, you can see here it says 150. Definitely that's wrong because that's going to input output, actually. Uh, 
a very narrow uh, width uh, video. So you can't see the whole video. That's definitely not correct. So here if you put 315, then the whole screen will, will be squished because a single video is supposed to be 315, but you have to take into account that under it, there's thumbnails. So I would do 400. So that will give you what you see here, pretty much. The 315 height is from here to here. And then give it a little more, like 85 of extra for the thumbnails. That will give you a very nice output just like this. And if you look at the visual field, you can see the single and the playlist looks exactly the same, which is what we want. So that's it. Uh, once you follow these simple instructions, you can embed either a single video or a jukebox, which is the playlist of all the videos you put in that playlist. And uh, it's not uh, intuitive, and Dailymotion doesn't give you any help on that, but with this little tweaking, you can do it.